welcome to the Train Shop Weekly. This is Volume 3, Episode 2. two. Uh, I'm Bill Henning. Uh, this is my brother Harry Henning III and our cousin Walt over there. Hi guys, how you doing today? And today's basically episode is about uh, Lionel's 2023 catalog. It just recently went, mm. went I'm live. I'm sure a lot of you, lot of you uh, probably already seen it, but we're going to give you our take on it. Our take on it. We're going to kind of go through Our likes and dislikes. Yeah, we're going to kind of take a walk through it. And my favorite, the big uh, book. Not so big anymore. But yeah, welcome to our little weekly uh, get together. Uh, if you enjoy the show, hit like, hit, hit re um, subscribe, share re it with your friends. Rewind it, watch it again. Rewind Grab a beer, <laughs> chips and pretzels, and sit back. Or even um, pizza. Before we get started, we did one, one thing that came in this week was a uh, a new combat book on the Virginia and Ohio. Alan McCullough's layout. Mc, McLennan. McLennan. McClellan. Mc, McClellan. <laughs> Sorry, Alan, I'm butchering your name. Anyway, he was instrumental for years growing up as kids. We've always seen his layout as kind of like the demonstrator or the sample of a lot of the ideas and stuff. And I know say, a few people that would be interested in that book. Yeah, pretty much he uh, revolutionized revolutionized the um, the hobby. The hobby in that you know the de the detail that uh, you can do with each. Well, some of what, uh, but we do the same thing in O Gauge now too by following a lot of this as well. A lot well. of what he used to do. Hey, exactly. Oh, yes. Now you gotta look at them Europeans. Yeah, so it's so it's an interesting uh, interesting read. A lot of good information, pictures, photographs. Uh, about him as railroad and, and yeah so he was all right i'm anxious to get on to this catalog all right all right <laughs> no, let's, let's, get, let's get on it see so we have well, we there's the hard copy you can usually get it at your local lionel dealer um it's online lionel's website um the catalog um is a little different than the online catalog because the catalog just printed the all the new stuff everything new whether it's scale traditional but it just has the new stuff don't even have the track in it yeah it doesn't have anything that they've been producing it for the last couple of years or something so the tracks not in there a lot of the buildings that they're doing each year is not in here this is primarily just the new stuff uh, whereas the last two catalogs they just did the high-end stuff so now they, at least they did all the the traditional stuff is in the catalog but like i said just the new stuff a lot of neat stuff in there it's a good catalog i think it is yeah, honestly that's the way it needs to be and we just the three of us just looked at it briefly, so we'll go look at a little more detail here. So, hey, let's get started. So, obviously, Lionel 2023 catalog. Let's start the rivet counting. Start the rivet counting. Start the whining. All right, so obviously, you know, table of contents, the vision line, and let's see. Explaining the details. And so, stuff. first up is the big boy, the vision line big boy. Comes in I was surprised they did this thing again. Yeah, they're, they're, they're killing it. That's a few like, different flavors, a few added uh, option or uh, features. What new features are there, Bill, compared to what the last one with depleting coal had? Yeah, they had the depleting coal, force coupler. They they have, I think, what four smoke units in this thing or something? Because they have the pop off valve steam effect, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, I think that's probably the newest feature on this particular one. You got the four. What, you can what, do the. What's a force coupler? The four, four digits. It senses how much, um, how much force is on the coupler to make it lug harder and make the engine uh, work harder. So the one forty fourteen, the oil burner. Yeah, that's like a hundred bucks cheaper just because it doesn't have the depleting coal. Depleting coal. So they ha they have a lot. A lot other than, they also have two of the Greyhound fantasy schemes: the gray and yellow, and the gray and silver. Kind of yeah. like the I kind of like the cool. one with the elephant ears. The elephant ears, are, I guess they only had that for a short time for testing purposes. They decided it didn't work, and they took them off. Apparently, they're held on by magnets. So if you wanted to take them off, you can. Yeah, so if you have them on and you don't like them, you can, you can pop them off pretty easily yourself. And then they got the uh, excursion cars. I know... Um, I know a lot of guys wanted those that missed out the first time around. Yeah, but I think one of these cars, I, I don't know if it's a flag car, was only available at the Bush funeral The President car. Bush funeral train, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's expensive. 
Yeah, and it's got a couple new cars too, I think, too. But just yeah. have different numbers. Yeah, what do we guys, got on some the... guy's been building the excursion train, so it gives an opportunity to. What do we got on cars? the next page? We got the big boy freight train set. Um, which it's uh, a special car in there. Yeah, they got. It's a new um, World War II poster art car. It's the first one. It's gonna be. It's the first one. It's gonna be a series. They're gonna do a series because Union oh. Pacific made several of those. War for, during wartime the wartime cars. effort. Yeah, during the wartime effort. And then we got the Vision Line caboose at the bottom. Now the uh, the talking caboose. Back to the set, the Vision Big Boy Super Set. Mm-hmm. So it's obviously a Vision Line Big Boy. It's got the Vision Line reefers, a set of those, a set of Vision. Cattle cars. Cattle cars, stock cars. For a mere $44.99. We got the vision. Uh, so it's got a bunch of sound bucks, cars. $4,500 basically. It's got two sound car sets. I think yep. I, I think what's, what's I, the vision I think line what I, caboose got? I think that's what I paid for my car that I drive now. Plus, you got the sound caboose. Oh, so, yeah, okay, you know, that explains why it's that much. You're getting a. Actually, I guess that's not a bad deal. I wonder what it would cost to add, if you added them all up individually. Oh, yeah. The sound caboose itself is two ninety nine. Yeah, it probably is. And that, then if you that, look, okay. if you look at the uh, reefers, the set of three reefers is four ninety nine, five hundred bucks. So there's five, ten, okay, yeah. eight, ten, yeah, five, ten, thirteen hundred right there just in cars. Okay, if you were to buy them separately. So it's an all Vision Line train set. Even the so box cars, so they got a box car. the cars and the caboose. Got another, a freight sound box. That's thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah. So for comparable for for GM, this is the Cadillac Escalade of uh, Lionel. Of the Lionel world. As some people complain about the price, which this is out of my price book, but you know it's your your this is our Cadillac versus our Chevy Blazer, right? An Escalade yep. versus a Chevy Blazer. Yep top of the line set so right. and then we got like I said the the rail sounds cabooses which talk don't expect to buy a, an Escalade for the price of a blazer <laughs> 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 all right then, then moving on real quick let's see the vision reefers it's basically a repeat with, with added a few added ones they, I don't think they did the fruit growers or Great Northern before well, I think they, the Pensy ones the were fruit growers, growers they did. They've done the Pensy fruit they, growers. They were, maybe not in the Vision lines, but they, they became... Yeah, I Vision they line, I have the Pensy set. Yeah, no, no but I'm saying every, these here. They, no, I've seen the... It says Pensy fruit, Pensy growers, fruit growers on it, yeah, the yeah, one that I have. That. Not on this one. I'm talking about the catalog here. Yeah, well... These are new. Yeah, they're new, new scheme. paint schemes, But yes. they did the Santa Fe and, and the other before. Yeah. All right, move on. Stock All right. cars. Fighting. This Vision one. Line stock cars. cars. This one's sheep. 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 Quilling I know sheep. sheep. Quilling sheep. So you, so you, so you, you have your pigs now. So now you can have your sheep. Well, to go Walt your has, pig. Walt has ho uh, the hogs. I have the no, hogs. You have the steers. Steers. Now Bill needs to get the sheep. Okay, I'll get the sheep. We'll the utilize. We'll really utilize Walt's. Uh, industry there on his siding legacy locomotives that's what's next and I think this is something a lot of you guys really wanted was yeah, the Dreyfus I, yeah I think this is gonna be I think I would have to say it's probably gonna be a good seller yep the yeah. Dreyfus I mean, that's a, you, you just can't and it's it, got a couple different versions it's got the it is a cool looking engine plain and simple yeah mm -hmm. it, uh, it's got the open drivers and then it's got the hood uh, Baldwin disc drivers on it too, which I think is neat. It, both versions. Oh, kind of, yeah. it, it's kind of interesting. Early versions have all the sh the shielding, and, and and then as you get to the later version, there's less shrouding. Basically, there is one. There is a uh, fantasy scheme. The uh, they reversed the colors. They made a dark gray one, which kind of matches up with the one set of uh, you know, passenger, cars. passenger cars. Yep. I mean, it wasn't done that way for real, but it does look kind of sharp. If you have a set of these darker, dark gray passenger cars, it'll work good with it. I get the passenger cars to go with it. And there's a 21-inch cars, passenger cars, 
the four have, car set and then two two packs. Want to have people in them? Well, that's yet to be determined. Term. But we'll determine flea, that at a later date. Model plastic interiors. It doesn't say anything. Kinetic couplers. It doesn't say anything about passengers in there, Walt. So you might be putting them in yourself. No sound car either. No, there is a sound car. Yeah, there's a sound car. Where? Uh, I didn't see the that. The diner. Huh? Okay. The diner two two car pack. Okay. Ay 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 ay. Ah. Okay. Uh, going on. This was one you were interested in, wasn't it, Walt? Uh, one of the few steam engines I've seen you take an interest in. Yeah, but I gotta find a little bit more detail. The numbering's for, all right. All right, the rivet count's coming out. All right. Well, explain what okay. it is. Uh, the biggest thing is that the number's wrong. Looks no, like I'm not talking about that engine. What about all these others that are on here? What about them all? Well, yeah. they're Russian decapods, okay, and. Uh, Obviously, Walt likes the Philadelphia and Reading decapod. Like I say, he's a rivet counter, but that's besides the point. These were from, these were an MTH engine, I believe. Whereas the Dreyfus, before well, it was a new tooling, wasn't it? Was a new tooling. It was not an MTH engine. So this is one of one of that came from the MTH stuff. But yeah, the Philadelphia and Reading. That's kind of one of my picks. It's interesting. They. When they got these these Russian decapods, they had some extra railings and such. Like on the red, and you'll see, kind of looks yeah, like kind of different. Yeah, the USA one too. But that's how they originally were. Eventually, they generally they took them. Like the railroads would take them off because looks like a fence. Yeah, I mean it was a. I guess it was a pain in the neck to walking across the walk with that railing. So eventually they took them off. How many guys got burned walking with that railing here? I don't know. It's interesting that they have the version. You rarely, rarely see the version with full railing. Full railings like that. Yeah. All right. What do we got next? The I one. Big pensies with the short tender and the long tender. Oh, and I think it's the post-war and pre or uh, front end too. Yep. It kind of gives you an option. You can have almost any flavor you want really here. This I think this was also an MTH product. Yes, this product. was. This was when I looked at it. I was like, cool. That is a long ass tender. The tender's longer than the, the engine. It's got, the whistle, look at it. got their whistle steam, your whistle smoke. And, uh. Oh, yeah, the tender's just as long. It was really a Locos 13 and a quarter. The long tender's 13 and three quarters. Yep. A half <laughs> inch longer. <laughs> tender's longer than the engine. Yep. And then you got the one with the mini tender. <clears throat> the short haul. Little outhouse out back. Yeah, crew house. It, uh, everybody call calls it a dog house. Dog house, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah, it's got the wide dog house on the big tender and the small little dog house on the back. Did they tender. have the red roof and red on the tender? Most of them were black. Yeah. All right, what do we got next there, Bill? The 484. Santa Fe. Uh, that's Didn't they just do one of these? Didn't we have a one, one of these? Um, I forget which one they just, just recently did, but yeah, they've done some. They've been doing a big Santa Fe engine each year recently, but it's a sharp look on it, looking. Yeah, because I was just looking at the Fantasy Scheme War Bonnet one, and I thought we had one that was black with the War Bonnet paint, not the silver. Yeah, that was a different engine. Yeah. No, uh, that was the uh, 2104. 2104. Okay. Not like I like it. The uh, got the the first one there, the 2926. That's the one that was uh, in a museum restored, I believe. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't think it runs, but it's I'm not sure. Still around though. Yeah, it's still around. And, and That's cool. All right, let's get to the next one, the Camelbacks. You know, a lot of guys were excited to see the Camelbacks, especially the Pennsylvania Railroad and the Lackawanna. And there's also an Erie. And we got an Atlantic City Railroad and a Lehigh, New England. The one I thought was quite interesting was the Atlantic City Railroad, which you looked that up on the 
the internet and uh, it, it's not the exact same engine but the damn paint scheme looks pretty darn yeah it's based on it's based on an actual camelback but you know it was a different different style different style but, but I thought that was quite interesting when we looked it's that pretty up. sharp looking I like that with that the red in and the, the, and the side rods in that yeah and, and the, the price isn't bad it's they're anything like the last ones they were really sharp they ran really nice it sounded good and they're at a very reasonable price yeah it looks really nice yeah I like the Atlantic Atlantic City Railroad Will I cool. get it I don't know all right let's go to legacy diesels now all right legacy diesels this one looks like your realm bill oh, yeah, yeah Amtrak oh look at that oh. officially licensed of Amtrak that is Ooh. nice I don't think I need one because I bought the last round of what they. Yeah, I think you got the patched ones up at my yeah, house. Yeah, the, the day one version, but that is sharp. It's it's gonna be tempting. The New York Central is sharp. And that is sharp too. That was I gotta that, say they that they just tens, tested a, that paint scheme, and then it didn't stay. But over in New Jersey, they do have a set like that. Yeah, they restored and painted it like that, so you can actually see the real one. It's pretty cool. Southern Pacific, Southern. Very nice. Go wrong. Mm -hmm. And then our Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western. Yeah. It's neat to see them in E8s. Yeah, last year they did the F units. The, uh, yeah, they just got a set of these at the actual railroad, didn't they? Yeah, I believe it's in the paint shop now or just finishing up. And that's apparently what it's going to look like when it's finished. So. And then their full Vista Dome. Which I, think, is, I think they were saying the Vista Dome wasn't painted like that, but they're expecting to... To get it painted Probably like that. Paint it. That's kind of what they expect it to be when it's done. But, you know. uh, I know the railroad was working closely with Lionel on this particular set, so I would say the paint probably pretty close. You got the two pack of cars with the sound diner. Includes dialogue from actual AC and W personnel. So, that's, so they're going to record some of the actual employees down there. That's cool. That should be good. Better yeah. than the basics. I know if the F units, the, the actual color. Was so sharp looking. Oh, that, that looked, metallic. I never seen an engine with yeah, that like type metallic of metallic. Magenta. The metallic. Yep. But it looks so, so much better in person than than it did in the catalog. That's for sure. Did you see saying the Lionel, the model came, was quite impressive. I thought. All right. ES44 AC, some modern diesels. They have the uh, Kansas City Southern. The gray one's pretty sharp looking. I. Think. I think that might be a fantasy scheme, but it is sharp looking. Nice looking. And they they do have both powered and non-powered units. The non-powered units are not shown, but you can get the powered unit for seven forty nine and the non powered unit for three ninety nine. And if you get your uh pre order in you'll get them less than that. But, uh, not bad looking engines. Oof. I'm not one for modern, but I, I gotta say some of the paint schemes are really what nice. Was, what was the price last year on these? That I don't know. Six something? Year. Six ninety nine, so they went up fifty bucks. That ain't too bad. Over last year. But yeah, there's some nice paint got schemes in there. Yeah, on but rail. if you go up fifty bucks every year, that starts Oh, yeah, it starts adding up, yeah. All right, what do we got next? We got the NW2 switchers, and uh, love the switchers. I I like the fact they got the deflectors on the spark some arresters. of them, the spark arresters, which they don't have one on the Lehigh Valley one. Nah, that should have that diamond shaped maybe, one. Maybe, you maybe had. it should. Maybe maybe that particular one doesn't. Maybe not. No, they didn't all have them. Just yeah, there's quite a few did, but I'll just, uh, I might have to get another one of those. Replace your your one you sold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. What's what, what do we got next? All right. We got the GP twenties. I don't think they really had a long life. GP twenties. Yeah. They were. I think. I think they were a pretty good workhorse type of thing. But. Yeah, I believe these were tooling that came from MTH as well, from yes. what I understand. Yep. And then retrofitted for the legacy control units. The Penn Central is nice. slightly different between the two. You know, one says Penn Central, one doesn't. But I mean, that's kind of what they did. They were, they weren't always identical, the same. Everywhere. Well, you got to remember they were also 
Some came from the Pennsylvania Railroad. Some came from the the uh, New, York New York Central Railroad. And their team of guys did the paint jobs in whatever shops they were at. So yeah, That's true. Lehigh Valley Legacy Camelback. It's a nice set. Nice coal set, yeah. This reminds me of the H10 coal set. That oh, it's even got a bobber caboose. Yeah, and a, yeah. Yep, and a box, an old box car to go with it. Yeah, the H10 had three cars, a box car and a caboose when you bought the H10 set. And this is pretty similar. I was kind of surprised they put a box car rather than like four hopper cars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and like Maybe I said. Maybe they just had spare box cars laying around. Yeah. <laughs> Use them yeah. up. Use them up. Use them up. All right. Next, we oh. have the Union Railroad Hot Metal Set. Union In, Railroad. Uh, Where's that out of? Out towards Pittsburgh, I believe. Uh, handle all those by the small business bustling Pittsburgh short line. Ah, Pittsburgh. So oh, our guys got... out in Western PA oh, will oh. like this set. That's nice. It's got a... pretty neat. Uh, it's got three gondolas and three. It's uh, two hot. Yeah, the two hot metals. Two. Okay, you buy mm -hmm. one separately here. Number fourteen's by itself. Yeah, you, can buy, you can buy your third one. And they have the uh, they glow, so it looks like they're hot metal in them. Glowing hot what, load. I wonder if they're the MTH cars. No, Lionel had these in the past. Did they? Yes, they did. Okay. And next is the set that I plan on ordering. And oh, you no, know no, me. No, hopper cars. More hopper cars, yes. And uh, it's the uh, Iron Hippo Legacy set. What kind of name is that? Well. Oh. Oh, look at that. They're with ore in them. They're not. They're ore cars. Yeah, you can call them ore cars, coal no, cars. Read, they read, used read, them for both. Read now, read it, it yeah, says ore cars. cars. Yeah, so the coal load um, is actually sunk down because the ore... When they ran ore, they didn't well, run or, it as or, high. Or, usually an ore, ore car would have a hopper car that would be half filled. Yeah. yeah. So these, he said, they say this one's going to be the same way. So it's going to have the ore load, but half it's going to be dropped down. Because one way they would bring coal in, and the other way they would haul uh, ore out. That's why you don't see it, the load sticking out of the top of the hopper here. But they are nice, and uh, you know they do have extra cabooses that you can buy, and there's the your, extra. There's your vision caboose. Yep, that vision caboose comes with the set. Well, there you go. Now you don't. So have to I don't have it. to buy the vision caboose because it'll be with the set, and then there's two sets of hopper cores. You can buy the two hopper cars here, and then the next page is down where they have more coal cars. They have two more of these coal cars. So, you can have a nice big set of ore cars when you're done. You done? Yep. Save it, not ready. Yep. Rock Island Quad Cities Rocket Legacy Set. Little, uh, little nice little set for two cars and an engine. And then we got another, we got a Santa Fe set. Santa Fe Fast Fruit Express. It comes with a, a set of the Vision Reefers. And a Vision Caboose. And a Vision Caboose. Not the Vision Caboose. Yeah, a Vision Caboose. Featured on pages 12 and 13 to find out what the Vision Caboose is about. But that one's in the Santa Fe. Like the Pensy was with the set, you know. So that, that's pretty cool. All right. Now to the next. Talk flat. about these flat cars, Bill. The flat cars, 50-foot flat car of trailer, which you know, we are kind of talking about these flat cars earlier when I was talking about my milk cars. Yeah. Yeah, but they got the trailers on them. It's kind of neat. They did a uh, Lionel Lines one with the Lionel Play World. Kind Play of, World. I guess it was Kitty City in our, our area. And previous, you know, Previous to that, it was Play World before they went to Kitty City in general. So that's kind of cool. Which I think was a neat car to kind of bring up some of their history. Uh, what do we got next on here? We yeah, got I kind of like them. Like them. They're kind of cool cars. PS5 gondolas. All new product. All new product. It's got the Conrail, the maintenance car. Uh, yeah, it's like Conrail. They had a lot of derailments. Ann Arbor. Erie and Lehigh Valley. 
Canadian Pacific and Rock Island. I like the Lehigh Valley Copper or Godal car. Yeah, the in interior looks a little different. That's just because it's lighter. It's the color. Uh, they got handles on the insides inside of the car. Yeah, yeah, look at the Lehigh Valley, you'll see the handles on yeah, there. Yeah, the other ones do too. Do they? Yes. Ah. Open your eyes. All right, what's next, Walt? Uh, grain door box cars. Grain door box cars. You know what they were used for? Grain. I'm smart. <laughs> I, I'm CAT smart. Uh, yeah, they're kind of cool because you open the doors up, you see the boards that they use to, to hold the grain in the car. Grain cars were used long before actual grain cars were... Out had, in the 60s. Before they had covered hoppers? Yep, before they had covered hoppers. Well, you think about it, everything came in a box car. Yeah, back in the day they did. Cars came in a box car. Yep. Just bigger doors. Yep. All right, then we got the N8 cabin cars. The Pensy Cabooses. Great. There's three different ones there. Well, there's I, one for you, Walt. Penn Central and Walt Special Conrail. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think so. You can buy that for your buddy. They're yeah. nice. They, they got the... Uh, that would make a nice Christmas present for them. The colored barcode on the side of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that air. Yeah. 70, uh, the 70 air. Yep. Yeah, you don't see many of them with the barcodes on. That's pretty cool that they did that. And then we got more of the uh, GLA hopper cars in the two packs. Uh, Interstate... Buffalo Creek and what's that goalie? Yeah. Uh, Pennsylvania, two more hoppers, so that'll bring you up to like ten hopper cars. And then Westmoreland Coal Company, which I think is pretty cool. I got the standard center beam flat cars. They done these. They did these last year too. These are just all new road names. Yeah, but aren't they more? Uh, they're not scale, are they? Uh, they're pretty close to scale. Yeah, I thought they were more traditional, but yeah, they're like fifteen dollars more than last year, though. Yeah. All right. Standard O center beam flats. Okay, what do we got next there? All right, so now we get into this traditional. So Lion Chief engine. We got some, a couple of new Lion Chiefs engines. Here's a new steam engine. A new Mikado. It's a Lion Chief Plus 2.0. We got it in Milwaukee, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, Union Pacific, and Pennsylvania. Nice looking Mikado. Yeah, not bad looking. Uh, ones that guys got, uh, they're not uh, real expensive, and not too bad. Yeah, I don't know, they're still expensive, but it's got fan driven smoking and electrocoupler on the rear. You can, you, you, with the Lion Chief Plus 2.0, you can run it by the universal remote, Bluetooth, or you can. Or you can use a, a command control uh, legacy base. Like a legacy control. And this, these are what you call these will go around a 31 inch curve. Right. Yeah. So it's a good step up between a starter line chief set or an all out legacy set. It's like a kind of a happy medium. So what's the next page, Walt? Ah, uh, the ET 44 ACs. Cool looking. He's got awesome. that Canadian National, Kansas City and Southern. Burlington Northern Santa Fe and Norfolk and Southern. These are also Line Chief Plus 2.0s. Pretty nice. Yeah, once again, a decent de get a decent diesel. It's got it's got the uh, kind of like the legacy sounds and stuff. Got good sound to it. Crew talk and such. These are kind of like, but but then again, they didn't do them in Reading. The Bud RDC units. Yeah, it's a shame these. You know, I. I Always liked RDCs. I just wish, you know, other than third rail, somebody would do a scale, a scale ones. Yeah, you know, it because these look nice. It looks like uh, they're putting a smoke unit in. From what this looks like, yeah, they didn't read it. I'm curious how different they are because it says new tooling. Well, I'm wondering if it's the MTH tooling because MTH did the RDCs. And honestly, I don't know if it's the MTH tooling or not. But yeah, it does have uh, fan-driven smoking in it. Which is pretty cool. And uh, They're pretty nice. You got the Alaska, Baltimore, Ohio, the New Haven. New Haven's pretty neat. The Southern Pacific. I yeah. always like the front of the New Haven with that big NH on it. Yeah. So what do we got next? Disney! Disney. I'm always excited about the Disney stuff. 
<laughs> some of the stuff I saw in here for the Disney, I I, I gotta say, you know, uh, Disney's celebrating its 100th anniversary, so it's kind of exciting if you're a Disney fan. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm a Disney dork. That's me. That's I think me. half of our family is, but. Uh, so you got the Disney 100th anniversary set, which is which is pretty cool, unique. It's got a, it's supposed to have a rather uh, unique finish to it. Yeah, it's kind of a gray, rainbowy finish. But With the purple. And the purple, yeah. And it's interesting they're using the, uh, I guess, basically the uh, the hobo car from the Polar Express, but instead of a hobo, it's got Mickey Mouse Mickey on it. Mickey Mouse on it. So Mickey Mouse is on the roof. You can flip him around. So he's and not on the roof. It, it's neat how they're doing the purple and the uh, that white. Uh, what the heck do you want to call that? They use it on automotive cars a lot. It's like a pearl essence. Yeah, something. pearl. That's the word I was looking for. It's got the silhouettes of various Disney characters through the years and Pixar char characters. Yeah, you see in the back you got Snow White. So if you're, and... a, if you're a Disney fan, it should be a pretty neat set. Okay, it would be interesting to see what, the sound, what kind of sounds it has in it. And then the uh, Disney 100 Year Unlimited Boxcar. Illuminated. Illuminated Boxcar. Yeah, it's kind of like those boxcars we were looking at the other week with the uh, the fire. The, the walls fire glow. Car. Yeah. So that should be pretty That cool. should be pretty neat. And then your uh, Happy Memories. Yeah, uh, that's part of their personalized boxcar. Yeah, you can order it. You have to, you have to order that through Lionel, but you can get your, you send them a photograph of you and and they'll print it onto the boxcar, personalize it. Now this set, I this I thought was neat for the 100 year is all these boxcars in the early movies and stuff like and that. Disney and how the cars. characters were in for the for their year. Disney vault moments. Yeah, so the yeah. first one's Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie from 1928. Yep, and then you got for, uh, well, yeah. Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse from 1928 as well. That's what she was in the first movie was Sassy and Sweet. And then you got Goofy. From 1932. Um, yep, the only one. The one and only. Or one and only, yes. And Donald Duck. From 1934. And what's the big idea? <laughs> yep, that was his thing. It, uh, tell me about that movie theater. Yeah, the movie theater. Steamboat Willie Theater. See that one, Walt? That one's an MTH one at one building, but oh yeah, but the um actually it's not it's a Lionel the front know, sidewalk the, yeah uh, the uh, movie billboard is lit up so they're putting lights around the the marquee, the marquee yeah which is pretty cool and then it has Steamboat Willie in the hundred year anniversary up in the top there hundred years of wonders then one of our favorite things in this whole book and I think this is one that. Everyone in our family has already said they want one. You know, it's their definite pre-order item is this Mickey Mouse hand car, which I think is awesome. And it's based on the original wind-up, which this one will be wind-up with a two-rail circle of track, which I think is awesome. And for $199, I don't think it's a bad price. It's something that most people can afford, you know, for a nice little piece. This was an interesting uh, piece during the Depression era. The kind of Lionel it saved Lionel. Yeah, Lionel kind of, and Disney kind of teamed up them to, to make it, and they they sold over two hundred fifty thousand of these things on the holidays during the holidays in nineteen thirty four. So it kind of it kind of saved Lionel it from bankruptcy and bailed him out of recession. So it was, a, it was pr definitely a pretty good marriage, so, but it's, I know the real ones are highly collectible. And the they're ones. not cheap, they're a couple grand. Which I'm surprised if they made 250,000 of them, I guess they didn't last or something. Well, you got to remember what the figures were made out of back in those days. That was the biggest downfall. It wasn't the hand car, it was the actual figures fell apart from the type of material that they were made of. They were made of a like a paper mache type material. Yeah. Some of them got eaten by mice as well as you know, poor little mouse got eaten by mouse. These are going to be a limited edition thing. It doesn't say how many they're going to do, but there are like I think three or, or four four different colors. Which I thought in. was neat when we saw the orange one. Um, 
There's also going to be a nickel, nickel version, a nickel plated version. That'll be. That could be interesting. That could be kind of cool. But, yeah. But yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty popular thing. I'm excited. Sealed and signed by Howard. Yeah, it's going to have a certificate of authenticity. From Howard Hitchcock. All right, let's go on to the next one. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I wonder if that's going to sing Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I've got uh, a riddle, riddle for you. Well, that kind may be the golden ticket box car, Walt. <laughs> kind of like the Disney one. I'm kind of anxious to see what the sounds are. Yes. And, uh, yeah, you got... Because it's got the Oompa Loompa car. Yeah, but it's... A couple Oompa like, Loompas. Yeah, it's like it's on the uh, the Cop and Hobo Colton Gondola car. They're like dancing around or chase each other. Yep. And, uh, yeah, then you got the golden ticket box car and the Willy Wonka... Uh, bar packing facility. I can see this. They got all these chocolate bars coming out and logs going in. <laughs> yeah, it's a chocolate log. The tank car is pretty cool because it's one of those. <laughs> the tank car is pretty cool because it's a basically full of. I guess I have colored plastic inside, so it's going to look like it's full of everlasting gobstoppers. Uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, the boxcar's cool. You open the door and you'll see the uh, golden Yeah, car. can't wait to see what the, the radio announcements are on that one. On what? On the engine. Oh, on the you're, set. You're in a one, yeah. You've got at least order one set there, William. Yeah, we'll get done. Got to try it out here. Thomas is back. Ah, uh, uh, Thomas uh, and Friends. The only huh? thing new is these billboards, which I'm kind of, kind of disappointed. I wish they would... Like a lot of people come in and ask for the other engines. Percy and James. Bring Percy and James back. And a lot of guys are going to wind up asking for Rusty since he's the new one at Stroudsburg. He's the third engine at Stroudsburg now. Yeah, but, but they've done Percy and James before. I'm not sure what happened why they not make Stop it again. Stop James, yeah. I can't imagine they weren't popular because anytime... Yeah, we get people ask them all the time. So yeah, they don't last too long. Around the Thomas here. stuff is stuff. The Thomas the tank stuff is popular. Yes, there is there is a pretty good following. Well, you get you have the grandparents getting them for the grandkids to get them into trains. Yep, and that's important. <laughs> and we also have that's kids that cover. kids that beg their parents for the thing. And the Thomas is usually one of the cheapest train sets that Lionel has. It makes it pretty popular too for the parents. <laughs> uh, John Deere got. Uh, I like the tractors there on the flatbed. Yeah, I like what do you call. Yeah. Yeah, they got that. They got another. They got the uh, a the truck, truck. The trailer, the, which is sharp, and then the flag yeah, some pole. of those are ones that have been out for the last year. Yeah, and the flagpole's new, and the, got a reefer there. Is new. Uh, Harry Potter. Look at all the passenger cars. And the Hogwarts Express, so they get, they're doing four add-ons, one for each of the houses, which is kind of cool. They got a blue Ravencrawl, yellow Hufflepuff, the green Slytherin, and Gryffindor. I'm, the only thing I'm surprised is it's not red, it's brown. It's, they're showing it as brown. It should be red in, in here. I don't know, maybe they didn't want it to get mixed up with the regular cars or mm, not. Could be. I don't know, I'm not a Harry Potter guy. Yeah, you're not a Harry Potter guy. And then we got Halloween. Halloween, which is actually a really popular yeah. holiday. Yeah, yeah, it's the most most popular after Christmas. Yeah. I like Frankenstein's uh, Gate Man. Yeah, he's yeah, that's cool. kind of cool. Yeah, and then creature crossing. <laughs> then we got one for all. Frankenstein's Bar and Ghoul. Frankie says enjoy. <laughs> And they got a new uh, Halloween set. Yeah, it's got a. Uh, uh, I like the mini stack. Yeah, two different the, ones with the graffiti. Yeah. Yeah, they got an add-on card to go with the set. Yeah, pretty cool. Potions and spells. And a nice Transylvania Railroad. Yeah, the Mikado. Engine. The Mikado. new Mikado they did yeah. as a Halloween also. I remember the last ones we did with all the ghouly sounds and stuff. They were awesome. They were fun to play with. Spooky sounds boxcar, which the, the box wants another one. No, another, another singing boxcar. No, another one of these light up ones. Well, ha yeah, it has sound. Yeah, it, it has sound too. Pumpkins light up. Yep. Then the Dr. Acula blood tonic tank car. I guess it has a Pretty red cool. liquid in it. 
And then tank, some movie cars. Tank of blood. Yeah, horror movies. And Pennywise peekaboo car. So the, I never even saw the movie. So so it's kind of interesting. So Pennywise, the clown, will go up. He'll go up and down, just like the balloon will go up and down on the opposite side. What was it? Was that a cop and hobo car that did that? Yeah, that, no, that was. Yeah, that was uh, the sheriff and cowboy outlaw car originally. They went up and down in it, and, and then, then through the, the years it went to giraffes and elephants and everything else under the sun. Then the Exorcist floating Regan car. That's yeah, that's the uh, brakeman car. Yeah, so the her body will be floating back and forth across your top of your box car. <laughs> Okay, what do we got after that? Another Halloween set. Yeah, this is all last year's stuff. Basic our previous stuff. Yeah. So, Pretty cool. See. Go through. Hey, what's space that set? space one? Yeah, that's the same as what they had before. Yeah, they have. They added a box car. They have a, 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 a new box car for that. NASA, NASA box car to go with it. Uh, Area 51, they got several new things. A couple new things. Mel's Diner. Yeah, if you reckon, yeah, you recognize that. Diner. Yeah, I got two of them Mel Diners. I got one still in a box and one I... Which I guess we know that came from MTH. Yep, so yep. we know where that one came from. They got the uh, barrel loader also. I, I like how they built the little barrel loader. With And they got fluorescent, or glow-in-the-dark barrels. And then what's that? Radiation waste? Yeah, a hot metal car, but up next, Budweiser. Budweiser. I uh, like uh, the Budweiser stuff boom, myself. Boom, boom. And uh Budweiser. The Kwanzaa Hut, the new paint job for that. And some new beer cars. It uh they're pretty cool. Budweiser flat car with the tractor trailer on it. I really like that. That's a nice looking. That just looks like a car that's about to go and get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you never. The Quad Tots pretty cool. I mean, those Quad Tots. They after the war, they've they use them a lot. Uh, I was a lot just of reading, reading things. in what do you call uh, on Facebook? Uh, Budweiser signed a contract with a uh, Union Pacific. They huh. built. They built. They bought two hundred and forty. Uh, Box cars, refrigerated uh, box cars. Or Budweiser did. Yeah. No, that's pretty cool. Got to get the beer out there somehow. That's right. A lot of thirsty people out there. Yep. Nothing new there. The Budweiser uh, factory that was new, same as before. The tank car is new. No, that was last year. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Sharp looking tank car. Actually, I don't think they came in yet. And then uh, what do we got next on the page there? We've got the New York Central. 280 Consolidation Lion Chief Bluetooth 5.0 set. All right. Yeah, and that's, that's an all-new uh, engine. Yeah, a 5 point. All-new Lion Chief engine. It's not a 2.0, it's a 5.0. It's, it's got Blue Chiefs, Lion Chief, Lion Chief Plus, and your live talk. Well, they got that. an add-on merchandise, operating merchandise car. Which is pretty cool. And uh, from there we go to what, the general set? Yep, Gold Mountain Lion Chief, kind of to celebrate the gold rush. That's pretty cool. And then they have a, a Gold Mint California tank car. I oh, think the tank car is pretty gold cool. Gold Mountain tank car, I mean. Yeah, clear tank car with flakes in it, which is pretty neat. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, the steam engine, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's steam, well, we like the general engine. That's uh, been done so many different ways, though. <laughs> what do we got after that? The Texas Special. And uh, I guess it's been a few years since they did the Texas Special set, and they're bringing out another one, which is in the Lion Cheap Bluetooth uh, 5.0 sets, which is uh, nice with two add-on cars to it. Hey, people are always kind of often asking for a passenger set. I mean, the way the line And they're always cheap. wanting the extra cars to go with the sets. Yeah. And what's that set there? Uh, that one's from a couple years from last year. The yeah. Santa Fe set. Yeah, let me see. Same as the UP, Union Pacific. And that's another, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what else we get to. Something else. Union Pacific set's new. 
No. It's upgraded Bluetooth 5.0, no. and then another Santa Fe upgraded uh, Santa Fe set, but the new added box car uh, to go with the Super Chief set. The box car is new. Yep, the box car is new, which they didn't have it's before. It's the 75th anniversary box car, from, basically from the train that went from Chicago to L.A., the Super Chief. Let's see, Army train, uh, the, the key thing I know is the Marines Gateman car, or Marines... Uh, the Gateman? Gate yeah, the operating Gateman. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Done in a Marines style motif. And here's some of the new Lion Chief engines. They got the, uh, the 280, like I say, this is an all new engine. 280. What do we got? Uh, it's a nickel plate, Western Maryland, Santa Fe, and Seattle. Chesapeake and Ohio. Yeah. And then they also then also the, some new uh, FTs and some new paint schemes. Uh, these are Lion Chief, but to note they do not come with a remote. So you got to either use a universal remote or your the Bluetooth app. It does not come with the remote. So more or less an upgraded version of things. No, it's just the Lion Chief, they're just Lion Chief's engine, so, you know, if you get a starter set, it gives you another option to get another engine yeah. without spending five, six hundred dollars or more. And then we got the F FTs on the other Yeah, page. that's what I said, yeah, they're FTs. Yeah. They're just new paint schemes, Santa Fe, New York. All right. Uh, these, we got the rail bonnet <coughs> cars. They're new. Yeah, the rail bonders. They did these a few years back with the the pole on the top, uh -huh. and they're they're like a maintenance away and so forth. There's this one here, the rail bonders M4. That's a maintenance away piece. And uh, then we got a New Haven um, Pacific Electric rail bonder, and then a for you Long Island guys, a Long Island Railroad. In these were designed for overhead catenary, but you can run them on your three rail, which is pretty cool. And uh, what do we got next there, Bill? The Justice League. The Justice League. I thought the Batmobile was pretty cool. Inside the box car. Wayne Enterprise Transport. The Lex, the Lux, the LexCorp hopper car is kind of cool. The Kryptonite. No, nah, no, no, no. The Wonder Woman's got to be the freaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, right. where's the jet? It's not there. You're right. The Wonder yeah. Woman. The invisible part. jet. I love how they have the shadow. The jet shadow. That, though if it's a invisible jet, would it have a shadow? It, I don't know, but it looks like it. It looks like either a jet or a helicopter. Yeah. Oh, it's her invisible jet black car. And then we have Flash. The Flash Mint car. Yeah, he's pretty cool. The Flash kind of runs around the inside of the car. Probably not as fast as it's supposed to. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, Andrew Trotter Thomas got two new cars. Pretty sharp looking. Got the uh, Texas Special and the General. The General's pretty cool. So I like that. The whole, whole collection. It would be neat to have those all on a nice wood base shelf, shelf yeah. You know, kind of framed out shelf unit. And I think they're pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Automotive, no Mopar. Yeah, still no, no, still no Mopar. Sorry, Harry. Right. You got new, a new, new set of Wings of Angel cars. The box car. They've been doing them for the last several years. They're actually the, good sellers. The pinup girls. Then Midway. What do we got? Air Force and so Yeah, forth? the Battle of Midway. Then some more presidential cars for that presidential set. How long they've been doing that presidential set? I don't know, several years. I don't know how many presents are left. Originally, you you started collecting them and gave up, didn't you? Well, yeah, somebody, we got in a set of passenger cars I wanted more, so I sold the presents. <laughs> Buy my riding passenger cars. Hey, why not? It'd be neat to, it'd be neat when it's done. Yeah, you know, To see the whole thing. And that would be another one neat on a shelf as well. Chessie boxcar. Yeah, you got your Chessie boxcar. Walt but, likes that one. Yeah, 50 years. Hey, Walt, look at that. More maxi stacks. Yep. i going to start buying them for my modern train. Yeah, so these are more traditional versions opposed to those big scale ones. Christmas. I love Christmas trains. Uh, so this one this one excites me, but we'll talk about that in a few minutes. All Polar right. Express. Uh, let's see, what's new? RDCs. RDCs. They're doing the RDCs in a Polar Express scheme. 
which I thought were pretty cool. Yeah. They got the snow on the roof and uh, got the smoke. What's there. this ice track thing, huh? The ice tracks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If you if you're familiar with the movie, the train goes across and kind of slides. Slides around. all over the ice. Yeah. Which is, so, so it has a clear lights, kind of like the Christmas lights track they have, yes. except for it has clear lights. But it comes with this mat that looks like ice and snow. That's pretty cool. It's like a 47 inch by... Yeah. Remember, uh, TW Trainworks did a layout with the ice yeah. on it not too long ago. That yeah. looks pretty cool. So it includes the icy lake fold-out mat. So that's pretty yeah. cool. And then we got the Polar Express Hot Chocolate thermos car yeah that's pretty cool it looks like hot chocolate that would needs a smoke unit do not that be cool if it's smoke, smoke unit with and, the, you, and you put the uh, hot chocolate uh, smoke fluid in it yep that would be cool oh man they missed out on that <laughs> we might have to modify that car yeah i think, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we have to figure that out we have to do and that. then the milk car yeah the milk, the milk car and the um the sleigh bell mink car is back just different colors then we got the uh bridges again but with different paint jobs. All right. Now, Let's see. we got that's, that's some more same. Polar that's Express cars, some Polar Express freight. Most of this stuff is common. It's been out for a while. I think Bill's waiting on that set right there. Yeah, this set. The O-Scale E8 set and yeah. Christmas set. I'm, I'm Tell us the, about it, Bill. I'm, I'm on the fence about this because but it, I think sharp looking. I think they did a really nice paint scheme on it. I love the the red ribbon band. You know, kind of reminisce a little bit of the New York Central. But I mean, this is the North Pole Central. It's got the 21 inch passenger cars. Uh huh. Uh, it's actually got a a few new cars that were that are new 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 cars. Mm. Um, it's got the four pack, two pack, and then the Sound Station Diner car. Which that should be interesting. That'd be a nice. Now what I, I just said that I think is neat is this Camelback Christmas. It's more of a old time theme. A Victorian. Victorian theme. All right, yeah. now the real quiz for you. Do you know who uh, Fezziwig is? No, I don't. This is a Fezziwig railway. No. Nope. Come on. Never heard of it. Do you know who Fezziwig is? No. Nope. That must have been in one of the Christmas shows. The, you were, the Christmas Carol. Ah. Yeah. Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge was a Scrooge, you know, hated Christmas. Yeah. Whereas Fezziwig, he was like the polar opposite of what Scrooge. the Scrooge was. Yeah. He was always outgoing, very positive. Yeah. But so yeah. this this train set, is, or this tra engine, and, and it's got a matching bobber caboose to go with it, along with some uh, old time. I think it's a neat stuff. looking set. <laughs> it's kind of based on, on the character. It is. It's sharp looking colors. Yeah, I like the, the steam engine, how they did the wheels with the gold. Yeah, and I like it. It's like good. darker green and darker red, so yeah. a lot more classy looking than just a bright bright green, green red, yes. That's what I. That's what drew my attention to it. Yeah, so that's kind of impressive looking. Piece. And then I got another hot chocolate thermos card. Not Polar Express themed, but Christmas themed. Another one to put smoke unit in. Yeah, um, I'll do the Polar Express one. In here, I guess anything new on this page is Christmas is the uh, Disney Christmas is the station waiting station. Okay. That's the only new thing as far as the Disney Christmas stuff. And then on the Christmas Light Express page, they got a um, little shanty. Little Santa's shanty. workshop with sounds. That's pretty cool. It's got lights going around the roof and plays some sound. I'm not sure what sounds are playing, but I guess Christmas music or something. I'm sure. And then the. Winter Wonderland Express. A nice little set. Yeah, but it's not new. Uh, oh, because it has a 5.0 upgrade. I'm ah, okay. You're right. You're right. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? We got the uh, the rail binder. B bounder. Bon bounder. Bounder. Rail binder. North Pole Central. The North Pole Central uh, FT. And we have an Angela Trotta Thomas trolley. Pretty sharp looking. Got the Christmas balls hanging in the window, so that's a kind of a festive looking thing. That's pretty neat. And then there's we the, got the Christmas car. Yeah, there's this year's Christmas car you're saying. And a Christmas milk car. And the sound box car. And a, another one of them uh, maxi stacks for Walt with Christmas graffiti on it. Yeah. That was that the elves graffitied it up when Santa wasn't looking? I guess, I don't know. 
And the Christmas, the lighted Christmas tree flat cars back. That was, that was a popular. That was a good car, good seller. I like yeah. how the Christmas cars got a big uh, pickup truck and the Christmas tree. Yeah, and old, back old, to, old, old Chevy or Ford pickup truck. And going back to the uh, black and and red uh, plaid on the doors. Yep. Popular Christmas theme car. Uh, let's see. Oh, here Another you go. Mel's Diner. Yep. It's not Mel's Diner. It's no. Huh? Nog sh Shop. Nog Shop. Go get drive your egg in nog. Dinner. Drive diner. in. Diner. A couple di Christmas diners. Yeah, the hot chocolate. You got the hot chocolate caboose. Yeah, but it doesn't have a smoke in it. I'm surprised. At least it doesn't say it smokes. No, and they, back in the day yeah, they smoked. You got it. You know, once again, you got to have a smoke in it so you can put the hot chocolate Smoke food in it. Food, yeah. Yeah. Make it smell. the flavor. So Just like Mel's Diner needs to have like frying bacon. Yep. And bacon. then you got the Dasher's Buy and Fly. That's pretty cool. And then a hot chocolate caboose. Hot cocoa caboose with that laser cut wood deck. He's pretty cool. And That's then some new buildings. Uh, some old buildings. Uh, they were out last year, some of these buildings. Yep. Of course, was the big barn and stuff. This one. All right, we're expanding our world now, aren't we? Yep, expand your world. The Warner Brothers 100th Anniversary Theater. Wow, it's Disney's 100th Anniversary, Warner Brothers, Brothers 100th, 100th Anniversary. anniversary. I like the water tower, though. Yeah, the water tower's cool. That's, that's that reminds you of what you see on TV. Yeah, out in California at the that, studios. Yep, yeah. you see that big water tower. <laughs> Got the theater, got the classic movie billboards. Let's see. What, what else uh, we got there? Oh, uh, the flagpole's funny. The prankster flagpole. The prankster flagpole. And movie, Lionel Theater. Yeah, the Lionel Theater. What movies you got playing? Lionelville, Star Trek. Uh, Star uh huh. Trek. Loving uh, Daisies. Loving Daisies. Uh, what's, and, the, what's the Warner Brothers one say? Warner, Warner Brothers says Casablanca, North by Northwest, Rebel Without a Cause. Oh, that's a good movie. That's a classic. Bonnie and Clyde, Wizard of Oz, and A Shawshank Redemption. Well, that's pretty cool. So, that's on our next page. Let's see what else is new. Their buildings are out last year. And the, yeah, most of that looks like the same stuff. Yeah, it's been out. Movies. Oh, there you go. Lionel Ale. Quonsa Hut. Yeah, Lionel Ale. To go with that tank car they did the other year. Yep. The tank car was pretty sharp looking. Still don't have a can, one of those can, the... The actual can. The actual beer can, yeah. Need to find one. I think that might be it as far as new I, stuff. I think we're we're through it. Uh, they, the one, they got fast track. The one, they, they, they got um a three inch section. Because they have the five inch, the four and a half, so now they're doing a three inch. Three inch. I guess they had enough people request it. I guess. I don't know. No. So I got a three inch mm. section. But I guess that's all it's new. And then our basic transformer and TMCC stuff. Mm. Your controllers. But, uh, yeah. That's the catalog. Uh, there's some stuff I like in it. Uh, who wants to go first? Well, what do you like? What do you uh, like? What stands out in your mind? Probably the Camelback, the uh, Atlantic Coastline Camelback. Um, I kind of maybe the Decapod. That uh, Philadelphia and Reading Decapod. Yeah, but the numbers wrong. <laughs> I think they screwed up the numbers at the factory. Switch the six and the two there, uh, Ryan. Your production. Wherever you guys up there line out. Uh, for me. The number one thing I liked was the Disney hand car. Uh, it's just, to me, it screams the history. The pricing wasn't bad on it. I mean, $1.99, you got a, a loop of track, a wind up, and dollar ninety nine. Now, $199, but my point is that uh, it's a nice little set. They don't got too much running. They're running diesels. Yeah, you're a Redding fan, too. I'm on the fence about the Christmas set. I really like the Christmas set. With the E8s. Yep. The 21 inch cars. They are a nice looking set. That's a nice set. I, I really like it. The, uh, I do like the Redding. I feel like the Redding Decapod also. Phil's going to have a whole pile of E8s by the time he's yeah. done. 
the, uh, the Polar Express hot chocolate car. I, I think I'm going to need that just because we've got to put a smoke unit. we got to modify it. Yeah, we got to put a smoke unit in that side. For me, the Ors the Pensy Ors set, that was the other one I liked because the Vision Line Caboose, the more I like more the, uh, and more one with the tractor trailers on it, too. I might get them. Okay, the, I like the Budweiser one. Overall, there's not a lot I'm going to get this year. And the Lionel play, play oh, one. The Kitty City one. Oh. I'm anxious for the Wooly Wonka just to play with it. Play with it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll you, have that you'll one. see that here live. Probably the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. Why don't they see if they sing? <laughs> well... Why don't we call it a night? Yeah, I had a couple. I had a couple, couple things I wanted to share real quick. I forgot the last episode. Um, a fellow I met on and on one of the 2102 train rides last August. He has a woodworking shop, uh, JT Woodworks. Cool. Yeah, here I'll post his information, his card here, whatever. But he he makes custom pens and all all sorts of wood turning stuff. And one of the things he had was a train pen. He had actually had brought one for Andy Muir at the uh, the day of the ramble so it's like i really wanted one so so i fi finally got it uh, thank you joe the pen's awesome um he gave me there i guess there was like five or six different wood types to pick from cool a different yeah they were kind of different color different types of wood but it has the uh yeah the, the, the steam engine i, I like the steam engine on the, the yeah. top there i mean things got some weight though it's got heavy it is. Mm -hmm. so it's really sharp looking so thanks joe i love the pen Letting somebody else hold it. I didn't have one. <laughs> so Joe does great work. And the, the other thing was I recently got, which I was kind of oh, proud your, of. Your plaque. Yeah, our, um, for the Boy Scouts, um, the Scoutmaster of our Boy Scout troop. So they, they actually gave me a plaque at our last uh, little court of honor. It says, in recognition of his admirable, inspiring, and Persistent leadership in the face of unprecedented events during the COVID panic of 2020 through 2022. Scoutmaster Bill Henning is hereby gratefully presented with the Virus Victory Award by the Scouts, Families, and Leaders of Troop 399. So I thought that was quite nice. I think it's you. nice because you you actually took the time to be there even when you didn't have kids there of your own. And, and basically during the pandemic we did a lot online Zoom meetings and stuff. So it was... Yeah, granted, that was a challenge, yep. but make, making it still interesting for yeah, the But the boys fact that you actually did it, and yeah. uh, I think that's... I mean, granted, we have some other dads who are, are, are a great help. You know, we have a good group of, of guys there uh, helping with the kids and stuff. That's so. cool. But it was nice so that they took the time to... Make you a plaque. Make me a plaque and send that to me. Yeah, give you recognition for what you've done, which I think is great. And then the only other thing I had really to mention was uh, Allentown's coming up. And February 25th and 26th. Our train club will be there, most likely. I just got the paperwork for it. Cool. So that's good. I mean, we do have pre-sale tickets here. You can get and you can get uh, get your ticket here ahead of time. You can get in an hour earlier. So and yes, tickets. we hope to see a lot of you guys up at Amherst, being we are headed that way. Yes, we are going to Amherst. Finally, it took a, what? How many years? <laughs> Yeah, we've been talking about uh, five years at least. Talking yeah, so we're excited about that. So, yeah, I can't wait to get up there and <coughs> meet some of you guys up that way as well. And I think it'd be neat to walk around and see what different manufacturers that are there that aren't at other places that we go because it is a little farther distance. Yeah. Other than that, uh, thanks for sticking around. I hope you finished your beverage. You finished yours. Yes, I was thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, and until uh, hopefully maybe next week or so. So uh, hit is. like, hit hit subscribe, share with a friend, and see you again. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good one, guys. Thank you.